All right, we are back, boys, with some Rarity Collection blisters. This is going to be a short video, quick and dirty, because, again, if I see these anywhere, I'm going to buy them. And uh, that's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. We'll see if we can uh, get a quarter century rare at least. If not, you know, a banger banger uh, collector rare would be nice, because that's my, my, uh, my favorite rarity, I think, in this set. Actually, Platinum Secret Rare might be my favorite depending on the card but uh, let me know what your favorite is in the comments we got ghost spell and hot imagine as a secret rare not a platinum secret rare and then uh we got a blue eyes abyss dragon kind of sexy for you fanatics out there tri brigade revolt and an ancient fairy dragon actually i'll take this i don't remember pulling a lot of ancient fairy uh dragons in any rarity actually so Although I did pull it as a quarter century rare, so there's that. I do feel some of these cards are, I mean, they're definitely shorted, right? Like Triple T's, definitely shorted. And uh, the Pot of Prosperity. Do we got something here? I do not think so. Fossil Dig as a secret rare. And then number 100, Numeron Dragon and a Junk Speeder. Oh man, these so far so not good <laughs> but uh yeah i forgot which ones were. i think it was the exceeds cards that that were in the set are just not that good at least the synchro cards had barone and borolo the savage but uh, yeah i don't know the the exceeds guys the, the exceeds side didn't really see anything too cool in this set nightmare unicorn dimensional barrier i mean the secret rares we're getting are kind of interesting but they're not really, you know, I mean, they're at quarter century rares. We also got, oh, I mean, speaking of, Pot of Prosperity. It's interesting, too, because this, the Ultra Rare is pretty cheap compared to the Super Rare. I think the Super Rare is, like, twice as much as the Ultra Rare. And then we got an, another full armor uh, dragon and then another pot, Pot of Desires. All right. Come on, we need at least one one pack that has a banger and that banger has to be a quarter century rare we got fallen of albaz oh we do got a quarter speaking of man we we uh we willed it into existence here what is it though it is a spell hmm there's a lot of good spells in this set uh in particular i mean pot of prosperity definitely i'm trying to think what is the big money spell card and I, it, it might just be that or Triple T. So we'll see what it... Reinforcement of the Army. I kind of forgot that was in here. But yes, that is true. <laughs> it's just this card is... I'm laughing because this card is like in literally every single collector base set. Like it was in the Magnificent Mavens as a fair rare for some odd reason. And now it's... I mean, as a quarter century rare in the rarity collection, it makes sense. But as a Pharaoh rare, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. I'll take it, though. I mean, hey, uh, this will go nicely in a hero deck for sure. And we got Cyber Angel, Benten, and Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avram Max. Hell yeah, let's go. We did pull the fabled quarter century beer, but I'm going I'm to be greedy. And I'm, I'm going to say I want another one. I want a, I want a redo here because... I mean, it's not that hard to pull quarter century rare, so it is doable. So we will see. I don't think we got anything in here. We got, I mean, we got something in the form of a Sigur Nibiru, the rock. Speaking of, this card is kind of disappearing off the market, guys. So if you are, it's part of prosperity as well. But if you're looking for rocks, I'd, I'd actually uh, start buying them now on the cheap because they are going. Uh, it's one of the better hand traps for sure, and. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. We'll we'll stick it with that. Just buy it now. That, that it's like what fifty cents or a dollar for a super rare copy. And thank me later. All right, so we got Egyptian God Slime, the slimy boy himself, and nothing. Okay, uh, it's a prismatic uh, secret rare mud dragon of the swamp. Hell yeah! And then we got dimensional dimensional shifter, dimension shifter. And Artemis, the Majestus, Moon Maiden. You know, it would be funny now that <laughs> Shifter is very... It's printed to the ground that they just ban it. It does seem like something Konami would do. So, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of think they would do that. 
Do we got something in here? I don't think so. I love that the light gives it away, but sometimes it kind of sucks, right? Because we know for a fact that this one is not a quarter century rare pack. Uh, we got Black Wing Simone. Ooh, do these secret rares on some of these cards are pretty nice. It's not a prismatic secret rare, though. We got uh, Dink Law, the dinkest of the laws. And then we got a Nightmare Unicorn and a Herald of the Arc Light. Okay. Come on. One more quarter century rare would do it. We can do this. Come on. Come on. I don't, I don't see anything. Nah, this is not a quarter century rare pack. All right. So Tour Guide of the, from the Underworld. Another, wait, hang on. Back to Back to Moon. That is pretty funny. Of the same rarity, too. And, oh, there we go. That's That ain't bad. Herald of the Arc Light uh, as a collector rare. That ain't bad. So we could actually get another collector rare or a an ultimate, because that is possible. Let's see. Nah, Dogmatica, Punishment. I mean, I'll take it. As far as higher rarity stuff, though, I think our poles are kind of lackluster. Uh... You know, I mean, I, I'm saying that because I've had some banger-ass pulls or some banger-ass uh, blisters before. But in this case, there's, I mean, there's a lot of meta cards for sure. We got two Pod of Prosperities, which I will gladly take. A Nibiru and Secret Rare. And I, I forgot what the other... Oh, there we go. Mud Dragon. That's what it was. So it ain't that bad, but uh, I'd rather get another quarter century rare than some meta cards, you know? Like, let's keep it real. Catch you guys in the next one.